no, it's not, it's, it wasn't a ghost. <laughs> beautiful Kent countryside and I brought you to one of the best remaining Norman strong keeps in England, Ainsford Castle. by William D. Ainsford, hence the town, um, back in around 1085. I mean, most of these kind of structures would have had a Mott and Bailey. This was pure stone, no Mott and Bailey. That's why it's so well preserved and so rare. This was built on an earlier Anglo-Saxon structure. And who's to say what was on there before then? You know, I keep saying, how long have these places been occupied? Going right back to maybe Meso Mesolithic uh, period. The Mesolithic period. It's quite nice, there's no one here. Last time I was here, I did have an abandoned shoot because there was just too much screaming going on with kids and everything, which is fair enough, it's open access, there's nothing wrong with that, people are enjoying themselves. But for a filmmaker, it just wasn't happening, so I abandoned the shoot. Let's go and look down in the hall. Apparently, Thomas Beckett, Archbishop of Canterbury, excommunicated William de Ainsford, who owned the castle, but it was repelled by King Henry II, which they say started to fuel the arguments and disagreements between the king and the archbishop, which obviously led to Beckett's death. So you have an inner and outer bailey. The castle was in use for about 400 years, maybe a little bit less and was abandoned around the uh, 14th century and fell into ruin. But being stone, there's still luckily quite a lot left. I saw from about 1150 to 1175. It remained until the castle was abandoned in 1312. All oh, right, 1312 it was abandoned, but I think it was still used as some bits and pieces up until it was properly just left. There's a moat, it was a moated castle. I don't know what this was for, it doesn't look like, it's not obviously not a window. Oh, it could have been a shoot for um, wasted from people. This would have been the original drawbridge. So it's the same entrance for a thousand years. Now, apparently a couple of years ago, there was a photo taken and the chap said it was a black monk in the distance on the photo and being a paranormal researcher I've looked at that photo and dismissed it instantly. <laughs> There's too many other variables to consider before you even think there is. I'm not saying there isn't a monk here but it's always something associated with the historic properties okay why wouldn't it be the ghost of a chap who walked here every day of his life for 30 years walking his dog um, you know in the 19th century it's always medieval it's interesting, but yes, uh, I, it wasn't. It was just not a monk, not a monk. Interesting photo altogether, but I no, it's not. It's, it wasn't a ghost. 
Saying that about the ghost soul, I would like to bring in some psychic friends of mine to to see what they pick up on. That's what's more interesting to see what they pick up on, what's floating about, what aura is still here. Because I say, and I keep banging on about this, I don't think anywhere is haunted. I think it's a silly word. If it exists, it's everywhere. People say, oh, it's more, it's an active area. Maybe it is, but everywhere should really be active. Spirit and ghosts don't just congregate in one little space. Come on. Just my opinion. I've got royal psychics who see stuff all the time, all over the place, so um, didn't have to be in an old ruin to uh, feel the atmosphere. The Hall Undercroft. The Hall Undercroft. Undercroft or cellar was used for storage. A spiral stair connected the undercroft to the hall above. Okay. The old well. Before we finish, let's have a quick walk around the old moat. Interesting, it says here, antiquarians, the old name for archaeologists, only became interested in the castle in 1835. Only 1835. So yeah, so quick walk around the moat. Mm -hmm. I think the walls is about 29 foot high around that. Huge. So there you go folks. Hope you've enjoyed the little trip to Ironsford Castle in Kent. It's about four or five miles north of Seven Oaks and about five miles south of Dartford near the Dartford Tunnel. So yeah, amazing, amazing ruin. Glad I got back here, I say the shoot before was unfortunately uh, had to be cut short because <laughs> of noise but uh, here I've had it pretty much all to myself it's been fantastic so if you enjoyed the video please like subscribe please comment if you've been here yourself here to what your thoughts of for this uh, fantastic fantastic ruin and we'll see you next time take care